Let's take a look at how transport takes place in plants, but this time we take a look at phloem vessels. Phloem cells are responsible for carrying food and other substances to parts of the plant body. They do not carry water or mineral salts. That is the responsible function of the xylem cells. Every part of the plant body requires food for growth, regeneration, and development. Plants we know make food through the process of photosynthesis and the food is made by the leaves in the form of simple sugars, namely glucose. Other types of substances called plant hormones are made in the root tips or shoots. From the for the sustenance and survival, the food particles have to be transported by the phloem cells to all parts of the plant. This transport of food particles from the leaves to other plants to other parts of the plant is called translocation. The translocation or movement of food from leaves to parts of the plant's body through the phloem is done by the action of living cells called sieve tubes. What is the function of sieve tubes? The phloem in plants is made up of many cells joined together whose ends form sieve plates that have small holes on them. These holes allow food to pass through the phloem tubes. The sieve tubes that form the phloem are living cells which contain cytoplasm but no nuclei. They do not have lignine in their walls but each sieve tube has a companion cell next to it. That also has a nucleus and many organelles. Food made by photosynthesis from the leaves enters into the sieve tubes of the phloem. This is connected to other sieve tubes forming a network of phloem tubes and transported to the stems and roots. In this way, food and other substances, hormones, they are carried, they are carried either upwards or downwards depending on the necessity of the body part of the plant. Unlike xylem vessels, transportation in phloem is, both, is in both directions, upwards and downwards. How is food transported? The movement or translocation of food in phloem takes place by utilizing energy. The food, namely glucose, which is made in the leaves, is stored in the sieve tubes of the phloem by using energy from the ATP molecule or the adenosine triphosphate molecule. Water enters the sieve tubes by osmosis and the pressure in the phloem rises. This pressure causes the food to move to the parts of the plant where there is less pressure. This allows the phloem to transport or translocate the food and required substances to parts of the plant where it is required. Even during different seasons, phloem tissues transport food to parts of the plant. Example, for buds to grow. Have a look at the diagram. It shows you the structure of a phloem made up of sieve tubes. You have the cell wall containing the cellulose but no lignin. You have a sieve plate containing cytoplasm but no nucleus, whereas the sieve plate that has been formed from the end of the wall in both directions. In the center, you have the companion cell containing dense cytoplasm and a nucleus. So this is generally a breakdown of what a phloem cell looks like. I hope you have enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arinjacademy.com. Furthermore, for our subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash academy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash Academy. Thank you.